Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky at live from uh, his bedroom. Uh, <laughs> sleeping the Christmas festivities off. Hashtag doing bits, hashtag winning. Uh, hashtag pork is live. If you've not already hit the subscribe button, feel free to hit it and you'll get your porky fix straight to your phone. As soon as a video comes out, bump it, goes straight to your phone. So get the button hit and do as you're told. <laughs> right, now, where were we? Oh, that's it. Is there any good dentists out there that are tuning into the channel? I need a quote for these two teeth here. Screwing teeth as well. So I'm going to have to get them done. So I'm... Uh, I'm not vain, but I need to get them done. So I need two teeth, screwing ones. So can anybody give me a quote? We aren't going to get on a plane to Turkey. So mates rates will be good if there's any dentists out there. Or anybody knows any dentists out there, get in touch. It's porkycorner at mail.com. Not porky's corner, porkycorner at mail.com. So, uh, let's have a look. Where are we now? I'm coming up to some a really important video now. Oh, well, we mentioned that. Uh, let me have a look. What next for Joshua? We mentioned that. Ah, here we go. Lou DeBella. Right. Lou DeBella. I've got a lot of time for Lou DeBella. And there's a couple of people who think that Lou DeBella might have just had enough in boxing. I don't think he has, but... If he has, they reckon he might blow the lid off a of boxing now. If he does, he does. All I want to see in boxing is fair play, but I think that Lou DiBella is the only one that's coming out and having a go at judges and sanctioning bodies and things like that. And I respect Lou DiBella. They call him the, the hardcore's hardcore, don't they, of promoters, because he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's very passionate, Lou DiBella. And I've had a lot of dialogue with him over the years, and I actually... I like Lou Bella and him and Dennis get on really well. So every now and then when me and Dennis are out, we always send Lou Bella a video. So just having crack bit of banter, but he's actually a likeable guy, Lou Bella, and I like him a lot. And I think he's had some raw deals in some decisions lately, but he got the two ones with Jermaine Taylor, didn't he, over Bernard Hopkins. But I thought Taylor just shaded them fights. But uh, I admire Lou Bella. Now, Lou Bella is someone I admire on some wavelength as Dennis. As, um, I'm, I, I admire Lou Bella as much as I do Dennis, Clinton Wards, Carl Froch, Robin Reed, Mick Whale, you know, people like that, Peter Fury, Mark Prince, you know, I admire them sort of people, you know, there's other people, you know, I like my me, me pals Rico, Terry, Ozzy Smith, people like that. Uh, I've not met Ultra, I've not met Ultra Tech Sports Raw, but I've got a soft spot for him, even though he's hiding behind the camera all the time. Smido, other people in Steve Wellens, a lot of people I call me peers, and I have a lot of time for them. I've got a lot of time for Lou DiBella, and I think that maybe Lou DiBella might blow his lid with the situation with boxing judging at the moment because it's just. Every time there's a big show, there's always seem to be bad decisions, and these bad decisions just turn into uh, rematches, don't they? It's all designed for promoters to get mileage, uh, promoters to get mileage out of the situation, and it's wearing a bit thin now, isn't it? Wearing a bit thin now, uh, but. What can you do? It's just one of them things, isn't it? It's one of them things. And it's something that we're just going to have to take on the chin. Uh, uh, that's just, it's a bit like... It's a bit like these media outlets on YouTube that are getting... They're getting curried favours. I don't mean curry as in chicken curry. Or prawn curry or... Uh, what, what do they call it just chicken and chip curry or something whatever it is it's a lot of people are getting curried favours or getting done favours like 
YouTubers getting press access and they're getting flown out to places because they've got certain amount of followers. Now, because they're not going to... What happens is, if you're anti-matchum and you get so many followers, they fly you out, don't they, and they power you up, and then you're going to you're gonna go against anybody that's against them and big everything up for them. It helps them, doesn't it? It's just good business sense. It's easy to manipulate. You've got to forget pride and have a brass neck like Eddie Hearn, but like I said, I just think that it's all getting out of hand now, the curried favours. Currying favours, that's what we're going to call it. Currying favours for certain people in boxing media. Uh, is Coogan Cassius and all these other people on YouTube who all went out to Saudi, are they all going to say what they really think about what happened in Saudi? Because we all saw it, didn't we? Joshua ran for his life, didn't he? He didn't want to engage. They charged 25 quid for it. And everybody came home, didn't they? All a bit deflated after the big build-up. Uh, I personally, myself, I was a bit deflated. But, you know, I didn't see anybody cross-examine Joshua on running for his life. And basically, it was shocking. Don't forget Joshua gave Tyson Fury an hard time for fighting exactly the same, although Tyson does it just a little bit better than uh, Joshua, doesn't he? Uh, that's how you know Tyson had take Ruiz to school, wouldn't he? But as regards Joshua, if, he's gun shy, isn't he? But nobody questioned him on the gun shyness, did they? So there's that one there to do and that one there. Nobody questioned him on it, did they? So that's how I look at it, so... I want to see some questions, proper questions put to these people. I don't want to see them all getting favours and flown out on aeroplanes that are, you know, I heard there were 200 people on plane and it were a 300 seater plane, so did all these other YouTubers make up all the empty seats? Well, it'd be a good business sense if they did, wouldn't it? Fly them out, because they've already got the plane booked. Well, why not? Get, fly them out. It's just like having tickets in it to a show. If show's empty, give them all away and just spread the love. Think about it. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Shout out to Robin Reed Multivitamins, Innovation Alloys at Sheffield and South Yorkshire Packaging for backing the channel. And uh, you got to look after your pals, aren't you? I hope your pals out. I'm in a good mood, beginning of the year, it's all new beginnings. Like I said, channel don't make any money, but I'm not bothered about that. I'm just doing it to get our opinion out. Just like everybody else on YouTube, getting the opinion, getting an opinion out that we're not doing anything wrong, we're not breaking the law, we're just giving an opinion on boxing. We're not mugging people or burgling houses or anything like that or taking drugs or anything like that. Just giving an opinion. Alright, peace out.